Christian Cueva, the mercurial playmaker, and Edison Flores on the left, who plays his football in Denmark, becomes the first Brentford player to appear at a World Cup. Further forward, Nikolai Jonsson has been... The referee there in the middle of your picture for today's match is Bakary. Well, it's Denmark who will get us underway, and Christian Eriksen, Denmark's key player who gets them off and waits in the centre. A little too firmly struck, good play by Cueva to keep the ball in. His shoulders today for Denmark, lovely little ball in. This is Thomas Delaney. That's what he likes to do. Just couldn't get hold of the ball. Okay, yes, he with the kick for Peru, high and long, they're knocked down by Carrillo, hooked away by so Schick. hit, tried to hit Farfan on those long diagonal balls. Cueva, you've already spoke about it. he's the real playmaker for Peru. He's moved the ball around and it's fired in, straight at Schmeichel. But heading towards him at a fair old rate of knots. Excellent. Really letting fly. So the movement on the ball as well. Yoshima, Yotun. Well, just to watch it all the way into him. Hold of it really well. Kasper Smyth will be well just to Denmark as a midfield five as it's becoming at times. They're coming very narrow. That's freeing up Trauco, number six, the left back. Shot always going wide of the goal, but worth a crack there from Flores. And Flores in back, didn't get the technique right. They've settled quite well, haven't they, Peru, yeah, here have. when you think of the build up that they've had for the last uh, six months or so. Poulsen. Able to bring the ball clear and gain some ground for Denmark. Forward into no man's land. Larson and Schmeichel, good handling, just pushing it away from danger, right out the penalty here at the end. And it just about manages to go over the byline. That's poor marking from Denmark. Can't find a way through. Faced by a white wall of Peruvian defenders there very quickly. Yeah, back into shape quite quickly. With red shirts back to get it away. It was Christensen who headed the ball out of the penalty area. The flag has gone up on the news. Uh, from uh, Thomas Delaney. Just Waiting leaning back. It would have to be something special to score his first international goal, then got four in four days last September in the qualifiers. A little bit of pressure it was in the end from Tapia, just trying to get across to Delaney. Deflected wide, and it was Farfan. He started. Good stoppage in play here. Denmark with it. But Kerr getting across, tracking the run the whole way at Farfan and did brilliantly at the end to make to commit himself and timely challenge. They're on the ground. Jefferson Farfan there, who was uh, the player who had that shot. Mm. It's on the edge of the penalty area here. First card of the match. It's danger with Christian Eriksen from this range. Clear foul. Easy decision for the referee to book him. It's shown to Renato Tapia. Much danger. This is danger. From this sort of distance with the ball at his feet. And falling on the ball at the second attempt and grateful for it. To the ground. Just like Cristiano Ronaldo did last night. That's the strike there from Schoen at the end. He did well, actually, Schoen, to keep that down. I think Eriksen is looking to try and whip it back across. I think there was a real target for him on the, the outside. Box. And 40,000 people shout for a penalty. And the referee says no, and away come Denmark. On the side. It looked it. It looked the way that he checked back, back inside Paulson. And Paulson wasn't it getting across. Clear. Clear penalty. Well, you called it in real. And the first big decision of the match is coming up here now. The referee at half time on the horizon. Oh, and it was Poulsen with the challenge on Christian, the German referee, and his team in the VAR booth. Have made He's put it over the bar. What a chance for Peru. And Christian Cueva couldn't deliver from 12 yards. Oh, that's a shocker. Absolute shocker from Christian Cueva. He was brilliant in making the penalty. But that's just a shocker. Sends Smeichel the wrong way, waits for Smeichel to dive to his left-hand side. Thought, certainly no. Thought his foot might have gone underneath him, but it certainly didn't. He just gets it horribly wrong.
and skies it over the bar. Oh, they'll be hoping that doesn't come back to haunt them later Just on. as the clock struck 45, a penalty for Peru, a chance to take the lead on their That's return. Stuck. The dressing room for the next 15 minutes. It was a let-off for Denmark at half time. Watching him, uh, weren't we, Kevin, when he walked up? down the tunnel to come back out into the arena and he looked as if he was walking the plank. Jorgensen yeah. waiting in the centre, Pjona Sisto flicking it in, Jorgensen. And defensive shape, all stepping up when the ball moves backwards, excellent defensive structure to Peru's side there, playing Jorgensen offside. Going up. Yeah, it's a late flag, but we go. Rickson sends it in, comfortably away. Yeah, good play, and now it's Christian Cueva. Cueva turns, looks for an opening. They can't, which is the vast majority of those in the stadium were up on their feet expecting something to happen. Yeah, I'm not so sure. But this, well, it was given as offside, but actually it was a lovely flowing move. And for a moment there, everybody... Trauco got himself in advanced position, but... What looked like a very inviting opportunity. It actually was. Ball from Sisto. Look at the space here now for Christian Eriksen. Sliding it forward. Paulson, great chance. And Denver. Yusuf, you're right, Paulson. Peru caught on the break. Ericsson in space. Just how the Danes like it. The pass was threaded through, and Paulson did the rest. Peru nil, Denmark won. Well, it was a space that was vacated from Admin Kula's run forward. And Carrillo chose the wrong option. That allowed Denmark to exploit the space. He is onside. Trauco, the left back, trying to step up to play. Loss and Paulson offside. There's a real threat here. Guerrero with the turn. Carrillo back in. And the head of movement across Simon Kerr. Unfortunately for him, straight into the game. Guerrero playing it wide, but then look, getting between the middle of the goals. Excellent. Schmeichel yet to concede in the Danish goal in 2018. Under real pressure here. Decent ball. Rodriguez gets up and just beyond the far. Looks a little bit poor defensively, Denmark, for two high balls played in there. The ball for Fan and Carrillo. They're probably not alert enough as that ball gets headed back across goal. Throughout this game, Peru, they've looked the most threatening in front of goal. Half chance again, though. Certainly deserved an equaliser. Where the far fan can't get on the end of it and neither can. Still plenty to do to secure the three points from Denmark. Here's Cueva, trying to make up for that penalty miss, with the ball into Guerrero! Going away from goal, great awareness from him, it's Michael was beaten of it, don't they? Excellent skill out wide it was from Carrillo, yes, but Patman Cueva getting himself into a great position and... Great effort, so nearly an equaliser! Wow, what a goal that would now. And there goes the, final. the one moment of real quality that we saw from Denmark in the whole match. Christian Eriksen in space.